want you close Maybe hold your hand a little while Somehow I know You're gonna be the girl And I'll end up calling my own We ride around in style <laughs> the glasses on And then you make that smile And my heart starts racing When I'm with you Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here today. My name is Carrie and here on this channel I do a lot of DIYs, budget friendly, home decor, and every now and then I sprinkle in a vlog here and there just to kind of bring you guys along on my day. Um, but today's video is going to be a master bedroom refresh and refresh... <laughs> um, today we are just going to be tackling the accent wall and then in a future video I will be doing a little bit of decorating and kind of changing up some of the style that's going on in my bedroom and I will share that later on but like I said today we are focusing on a DIY accent wall that is super easy to do but turned out so pretty so I hope you guys enjoy <laughs> Alright, so I was being a little dramatic. Um, it really wasn't that bad. It was definitely a tedious process and I learned that the slower you go, the better. Also, using a blow dryer to kind of heat up that glue a little bit really did help with peeling it off. So definitely do that if you've ever, if you ever use peel and stick wallpaper and you decide to change it out. Heating it up just a little bit will save you lots of time. But once I got all of this removed, um, there was like a little bit of shiny residue left behind. I wanted to mention that because a lot of you have asked if it is renter friendly, and I definitely think so. Um, like I said, it leaves like a little bit of a shine, but it honestly just looks like the paint has a little bit of shine to it. It did no damage. It wasn't sticky or anything like that. So definitely recommend this wallpaper. If you're looking for something fun and colorful, I will have this one linked below. All right, I got all the wallpaper down. I just gotta take all of this lighting strip down, which is just like st stuck up there. Um, and it should come off fairly easily, but I'm gonna be reusing this. So I gotta be very careful um, with it. So that way, I'll be able to reuse that. stick wallpaper down um, and now I am going to head to Lowe's and pick out the wood that we need um, the paint color paint supplies anything that I'm gonna need to do this project I'm gonna go ahead and grab and then we are gonna get started I'm really nervous but I'm excited too at the same time because I feel like just painting this wall alone is gonna make a world of a difference and if I can encourage you to do anything get you some paint get your paint roller and paint some walls in your home it makes a world of a difference in the style and you can customize it and it's really inexpensive to do so and you don't even have to go out and buy new decor just slap some paint on the wall and like I said it'll make a big difference so yeah we're gonna go and see what we can get and get started all right, so the first place I go when I go to Lowe's is to the paint. I go ahead and I order it, and then I go ahead and shop for everything else that I need. That way, by the time I'm done shopping, my paint will be mixed and ready to go. It just saves me a lot more time that way instead of me, like, standing around waiting. Um, also, I wanted to mention that my material list, I'll go ahead and put right here on this screen, but I will also have it at the very end of the video in case you need to pause and screenshot it. So originally my plan was to use these really inexpensive boards. These are less than $2 a piece and would have made the project so much more affordable. However, all the boards were crooked and really messed up. So I decided to just splurge a little bit more and get the better boards that were gonna be easier to work with. So we need, here's the thing. This is what I was looking at here. I like this, I like where these are. So I wanna do 
two, two, two. That's gonna be like our starting point and then we'll work our way out. It's a vision, darling. That's what it is. Yeah, it's a vision. It's gonna look great. I just, you gotta think. It looks weird when it's all white and against the pink and all that, but when it's all the dark color, it's gonna look really good. She don't even care. Mommy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, baby. I'm coming. With this. With this. Why don't we move the bed out of the way first? If you use the level, I mean, the only thing it's doing is bringing this down a little bit. So it's just gonna, these are gonna be shorter than over here. Can you hold this so I can stand back up? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm trying to see what you're talking about. I know about. what I'm talking about, Dylan. I'm not a professional, I'm just a DIYer. Mm -hmm. Hold that one up. Okay. Fine, that's it. Well, maybe I'm gonna fall. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it's fine. It'll work. Another roller. I'm gonna roll. And, and what? 
So you can kind of see the design coming together. The way that we've done this is we've cut just like a little guide. So basically if you just put this in, you know, it kind of gives you the spacing so you don't have to keep measuring out, which is really nice. So this is our centerpiece. And then this is the little gap in between. Yes, baby. Bring it out with the hair over. No one will know but us. No, who's gonna know? Right there. Would the plate fit on that? I wish you would have left the plate out. Nobody's gonna know. Can you put the plate on? <laughs> what is your problem? <laughs> All right, so for this accent wall, I wanted to kind of create a little bit of a different design. If you saw my old master bedroom makeover that I did in the other room, I made a wall very similar to this. However, this one's like a little bit different, has a little bit of a different design where I kept two boards close together and then a larger gap in between. And I actually really love the way it turned out. Ready? Mm -hmm. remind you of reminds me of a really awesome accent wall <laughs> I have no idea you are forgetful you need a little pouch it's okay, I'm I did it too. pretty quick too what yeah. this project yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we have made amazing progress. I would not have had this project done today if it wasn't for my husband. So huge shout out to him for helping me out today. But now that we got all the boards nailed up, I'm going to go ahead and start caulking all the seams. This part is tedious and annoying, but it's very essential if you want like a professional look. So got my caulking gun. These are so easy to use. Um, practice. Practice will help, trust me. Um, the first time I ever like try to caulk anything it was messy I had it all over my hands all over the floor everywhere but the key is to work in small sections and go slow um, try not to be like in a super big hurry it also really depends on how you cut the tip I always cut at an angle and try to only cut a tiny bit off so that way it doesn't come out super fast and whenever you're not using it you want to make sure that you release oops like that want to make sure that your little button right here is released so that way it's not just sitting there pouring out onto like a napkin or anything like that so we're about to get started on that and then i can start painting i'm driving you're smiling just really doing nothing that's the thing i like So 
the color of choice today was Urban Bronze by Sherwin-Williams, and I got this in a uh, flat finish. I almost said satin. It's a flat finish. I chose the um, flat this time because when I recently did a laundry room makeover, I chose a satin finish with the color Iron Ore, and it looks so beautiful, but it is a little too shiny for me. I actually want to go back and maybe get a sample size of the flat finish and just do a quick top coat to kind of tone down that metallic look. I prefer matte and not like super glossy, so I'm really happy that I went with the flat finish this time. By the way, this color does have a little bit more of a dark green undertone to it to me. At least in my home it does. Um, I just think it's a perfect dark accent wall color. I think it just goes really well with any colors that you choose and I am obsessed with it. Um, this is the same color that I used in a recent makeover that I did up at the ranch house. If you want to check out a full bedroom transformation on more of like a, you know, ranch style home, like hunt and lodge type of thing, check that video out. I think it turned out really, really nice um, for the budget that I spent. So yeah, anyway, I'm just going to kind of paint this. I'm going to get all the um, creases and everything with the paintbrush first, and then I'm going to go in with the roller. Alright, so while I finish up painting, I did want to say that I know that this color is very dark. And I know a lot of you really love bright and white, and I do too. That's why I tend to keep like my bedspread lighter and everything else light. But I love a very dark, moody accent wall. I recently discovered that I love this after my last master bedroom makeover that I did. And I just had to recreate it in this room. I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> but I hope you guys have enjoyed watching so far. It is now time for the before and afters. All right, so as you could see, this was a pretty dramatic transformation, going from a very colorful, bright accent wall to a very dark and moody accent wall. It was a pretty dramatic change. However, it's exactly what I had envisioned, and I am so happy that we decided to kind of recreate the other accent wall that I did and bring it into here with a little bit of a twist, and it's just it's stunning. It's exactly what I wanted. And I really hope to find a few new pieces to kind of add to the space just to elevate it a little bit. And I will be sharing that in a future video. So um, make sure you're subscribed and your notifications are on so you don't miss my future uploads. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And I will do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. And thank you all for being here. 
I'll see you in my next one. Bye, y'all.